Screens are everywhere. Phones, TVs, laptops, even in our cars. But there's a problem with all of them. You can only see the image on the screen clearly when you're in front of it. Move too far to the side and things get blurry or distorted, and the viewing experience is completely lost. But what if I told you there was a way to make a display that you could view from any angle? A screen that looks the same no matter where you're standing. This is the concept behind a new invention called an andotrope. Greetings, I am the Great Action Lab. You may not escape my gaze. Wherever you are, I will see. This is an andotrope I made. It's an omnidirectional video display. It's unlike anything we're used to. This display creates a consistent image from any direction you're looking at it. Watch how I can just walk around it and no matter what side I'm on, I see the image the same. It's like a 3D, 2D image. Okay, we're gonna try to outrun this. Go fast. <laughs> He's still looking at me. Look at that smug little face. By the way, the lines that you're seeing run across the screen aren't visible in real life. It's only showing up because the frame rate of the andotrope doesn't match my video recording frame rate, and so it shows some lines. In normal 3D displays, you can walk around the image and see all sides of it. But these 3D displays aren't practical for everyday use because they require special files that have captured the object in all dimensions. So how does this work? Let me take you back to how I discovered this. I was invited to be one of the featured creators at this year's Open Sauce event. While walking looking around at all the cool booths, I found this one that caught my attention. It was a screen that could be viewed from any angle, a flat image that could be seen from 360 degrees around it. The inventor of the device called it the Andotrope, named after himself, Mike Ando. So let's open up my Andotrope that I made and see how it's working. Inside you can see there are two phones that are playing the same video. In front of each screen there's a slit. Then all we do is spin the device to around 450 RPM. And suddenly we don't just see a slit, but we see the whole video. It's a full omnidirectional video display now. It's amazingly simple, yet somehow this was never created before. If this type of setup sounds familiar, it's probably because you've seen something similar to this that's been around for centuries, called the zoetrope. This was invented in the 1830s. The zoetrope consists of a cylinder with slits cut vertically around the sides and a sequence of images on the inner surface. When it's spun and you view it through the slits, the images inside suddenly appear to be moving. This works because each slit reveals only one frame at a time, and the brain fills in the gaps to create continuous motion. This was an early example of the persistence of vision principle, where the eye retains an image briefly even after it disappears. This invention helped lead to the creation of motion pictures, or videos as we know them now. Now you may be thinking with the andotrope, why do you have to have this cylinder around it with only a thin slit? Why not just spin the phones? But let me show you what happens if we do that. You just get a blurred image of the entire screen sweeping across your vision. The cylinder around it serves as an optical limiter. This makes it so that you can only see one part of the screen at a time. The light from the inside screens can only be seen at about plus or minus 90 degrees, and it's completely dependent on where you're standing. So someone standing to the right or left of you sees the image in a different spot on the cylinder. The way that the image follows you around the cylinder no matter where you stand is similar to another effect called the hollow mask effect. For example, I 3D printed this mask of Abraham Lincoln, but watch what happens if I move the camera. The face follows it. This is so creepy. This happens because you're actually looking at the concave side of the mask but our brains are trained to assume that faces are convex or poking out towards us. So our brain overrides these visual cues and tells us that it's a convex face. But because it's actually concave, this makes it appear as if the face is following you based on the light ray tracing. What's cool about this setup is that it doesn't require a special file to make it work. Literally any normal video file works on it. I could see this being used in so many situations where you need omnidirectional viewing, like clocks or displays at airports. Greetings, I am the Great Action Lab. 
You may not escape my gaze. Also, if you wanted to make a more traditional 3D display that shows all angles of the image, by using displays with very high frame rates and carefully synchronizing the timing, you could present different images to different directions simultaneously. So it would be like you're seeing a 3D image. But in my opinion, I think the andotrope is better. For example, in Star Wars, when Princess Leia delivers the message, the people on the backside don't get to see her face when she delivers it. But with the andotrope, it doesn't matter where they're standing. They get to see the same front view no matter what. So it's better than being there in real life, actually. Now let me show you how easy it was to make my own andotrope using my Bamboo Lab printers who sponsored this video. This is the X1 and this is the A1 3D printer. First, I open the 3D file in Bamboo Studio. Now let's print the andoscope body. I just slice it and then select the printer and what filament I want it to use. And there we go. I just use the one-click printing and it sends it to the printer. I could also do it from their desktop app or from a phone as well. Now let's do the lid for the device. You can see it has auto leveling and smart monitoring so that it can tell if there's a tangle. In fact, in a print I recently did, it detected a defect in the filament I was using and paused the print so I could fix it without it getting clogged. Okay, so this is the andotrope. You can see inside there's a slot for the two phones to go. Now you can do one phone or two phones. If there's only one phone, then you don't need this other slit here and you just have the screen facing this direction. But having two phones gives you a higher frame rate at a given RPM. So I just have two phones playing the same thing. And then you just put the lid on like this. And then you can have a bearing up top that lets you balance it if you need. And then you just put this on a spinning table. You can find and make almost anything. For example, I also printed the Abraham Lincoln hollow mask with my A1 printer. Look how good this turned out. Anything you can think of, you can make. Also, because it can feed the filament into the print head itself, you can actually print different colors on the same print. You can do multicolored prints like this. On each layer, it'll select the color it needs, pull out the filament, and then insert the new filament, and then purge the head. And if you don't need different colors on each layer, you can also just do a print that has separate colors on each piece, and it'll print one whole piece and then the other. Bamboo Lab printers are so easy to use. Even my kids love printing stuff they need as well. If you wanna make anything that you've seen me print today and get started on 3D printing yourself, I'll put the link in the description to these Bamboo Lab printers. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab and we'll see you next time.